Hello everybody and welcome back to Promised Gaming with more FTL on the Stealth Cruiser! First couple of sectors are down, we are down to less than half health, so we've taken a bit more damage than I'm comfortable with, but we do have shields, and we do have mind control, so, I mean, if we can possibly upgrade our shields and or cloaking and get another weapon uh, pretty soon, we're gonna be looking pretty good after our first couple of sectors, I'm not really displeased about this. Let's go ahead and find a ship over here. Hopefully it's an easy pickings. We're the hit and run ship, all right? We just pop in there and we kill these guys as quick as we can. Uh, do I strip it? I'm gonna go ahead and try to download it for hope. Uh, hopefully we get better than 17 scrap. It does mean we have a fight. He has a drone. It's a fire drone, I think, but it can't pierce through my shield, so we're okay-ish. I'm gonna go ahead and cloak. Probably should have sled with that, actually. Fire off the lasers. Oh, it does shut down our cloak. Okay, so this is just a filthy lie. Two shield bars actually means that we're going to have a really hard time piercing through this thing. Um. Well, yeah, if we miss a single shot, we can't actually get through his shields. Oh, this kind of sucks. We're in a weird stalemate. He's the one who can do damage to me, and I can't freaking get through his shields with anything. And there's a fire. This is why uh, we need to get another weapon as soon as we can to deal with these guys a little bit more effectively. Finally, some damage. All right, let's take out his drone and his weapon. We have a fire to deal with, yes, but ultimately, not a big deal. Perfectly fine. Could have cloaked, I suppose. Didn't. Oh, well. Try taking out those shields. Missed again, because of course we did. This is just a boring fight. I mean, wow. Freaking, what's your evasion chance, dude? We, we, should we should compare evasion chances or something and see which one is bigger or better. I don't know. Okay, finally got that. Can we do some damage here? Not enough to actually take out a bar. <sighs> All right, let's try that again, shall we? Should have waited until the mini beam was ready. Why did I do that? <sighs> Gotta remember, mini beam, two second delay from everything else. Gosh dang it. Cloak. Freaking heck. All right, try that again. Got it. Let's take no damage. A fire does nothing when there's no oxygen on a remotely controlled ship. So whoop de freaking do Wait for a second. Fire the laser. Missed both. <sighs> He's got better than 30% chance, right? I mean, he has to have dodged more than half of my shots. I'm pretty sure. Still not enough to actually knock out a bar of his shields, which is extremely frustrating. But one more good mini beam and he actually will die, so we just have to actually pierce through one more time. Got it. Do some damage. And the drone's gone. Okay. Don't think we took any damage out of that fight. It was just slow going. We got some fuel and some scrap. All right. Not bad. Do we want to go to the distress beacon? Yes, we want to go to the distress beacon. Let's see what's going on down here. Who's upset? Uh, we can help somebody with a satellite. We can use the cloaking. Perfect. We get 14 more scrap. Let me go ahead and upgrade the shields to get another bar. Pull off some engine power. All right. Two bars of shields is going to greatly improve my survivability. Uh, do we want to go to this distress beacon? Which route do we want to take? Let's go down this away. I don't know. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance. It's a coin flip, honestly. Sell drone parts for scrap. Absolutely. I'm not using drone parts, and 24 more scrap is useful to me. Because I could use some freaking power. So let's go ahead and turn that on. We can now get some extra invasion chance from our engines. Also, even more by pulling off of oxygen. Or we can activate our mind control if we want to. And we already have advanced sensors to try and detect people and control them. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's that's gone pretty well. What do we want to do next? Probably save up for a weapon. All right, we got another rebel ship we we'll have to deal with. Let's go ahead and cloak immediately. He wants to do some crew teleporting. We're going to go ahead and vent things off into space. Kind of like so. Okay, he is fighting in my weapons room. Honestly, sounds to me like we're already going to have to just go ahead and fight him. Let's get another person over there. Uh, you've got a lot of weapon systems. You really do. That's kind of scary. Let's burn your shields and your weapons down. Okay, your missiles are still a problem. Let's go ahead and max out evasion chance real quick. 30%. Nope, sorry, 12%. It's occurred to me we don't actually have a pilot. And our weapons have been damaged, so I mean... This is a problem. Um, right. Mini beam. I'm going to ask that you take out all this stuff again. We weren't able to quite get our uh, cloaking up and running in time. Can have you guys go work on our oxygen. Let's get that up and running. We can dodge his next shot, so we're going to be fine. Let's go ahead and cloak now. Only a 70% dodge chance, but I mean, still sort of okay, right? 
Okay, his shields are still down. Good. Have everyone go back to their positions. We'll worry about healing in a moment. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and try doing a mind control on, let's say, you. I'm not going to have you repairing this uh, the shields at all, please. Thank you. Okay, he wants to surrender. I do not accept surrender. Um, let's max out our evasion chance. And we did manage to dodge that. Was it because we increased our dodge chance? I don't know. But all in all, that fight could have gone a lot worse, so I'm sort of okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our cloaking. And the thought here is 10 extra seconds of cloaking means I get a full charge on my weapons. That could end up being enough to make a difference. So we can kill our target a little bit faster. Or maybe not. I don't know. Presence of Mantis. Okay, we're just laying low. Nothing happened. That jump. Boring. Let's go to the next one. There should be a ship here. It's Mantis. All right. Shocking. Uh, 10 second cloak means I get to have my weapons more or less ready to go. Could do mind control. Probably will. Let's just wait for a second. Do it now. Okay, we're not going to have anybody using that crew teleporter any uh, time soon. Let's see, no shields for you. I'm going to try to take out that crew teleporter. Four rooms hit here, including his weapons. That way, we don't have to worry about it. He wants to retreat, huh? Okay, he might actually be able to get away. I'd like to take out your engines if we can. I'm going to save up for the mini beam. Fire now. Okay, and if we take out his piloting systems, he's definitely not going anywhere, and we can also take out his weapons with another shot like so. Boom, he's not going anywhere. All right, and there's a fire in his engine room, which means you're doubly screwed. Oh, right, my oxygen's off. We should probably turn that on, right? <laughs> All right, okay, fire here. And then doesn't matter what you shoot, just kill him. Easy fight. No damage. That's exactly how we want it to go. 28 more scrap. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the med bay. Ariel, Beth, and I'm gonna call you Lizzie. Why don't you guys go ahead and hop into the med bay real quick? I don't know, Lizzie just to differentiate. I mean, it's spelled with the Z, so I think Lizzie kind of works. Liz is kind of naturally, uh, Liz is kind of naturally a nickname for that, I think. I've heard a few different names for Elizabeth, but meh, whatever. All right, we ready to jump? All right, we have no engines. Derp. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's see, we can jump around for a bit longer before we head to the exit, so let's go up this way. I want to get as much out of this sector as possible. More scrap, buy a better weapon. That's all that I want. What's this? Sun, a nearby sun. I don't really want to deal with a nearby sun, so we're going to ignore the nearby sun. Maybe. I don't know. We, we might come back to it, depending. Aid the civilian ship against the Mantis? Absolutely. Two shield bars. That sucks. Let's go ahead and cloak. We'll probably do the same thing as far as mind control over here and taking this stuff out as long as we can pierce through those shields for a moment. But I'm buying myself plenty of time, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and do the mind control there. Please hit both shots. Missed. Gosh, freaking dang it. All right. Uh, you have bombs. Do we really need to worry about evasion in this case? I don't know. Um, can we hit all four rooms? We did this before. Got it. Hit this. Thank you. All right. Oxygen. Crew teleporter is damaged. He is going to teleport across anyway because, of course, he is. Let's go ahead and start venting him off into space. Uh, and he stunned himself because he's just absolutely stupid. Try taking out those shields so we can knock those down by a bar. We did. That's going to make my life easier. Let's go ahead and cloak so he doesn't get to charge anything up. Man, he really he did get stunned for a long freaking time. How's that asphyxiation feeling? Pretty good, right? I don't like that he has NG. NG are making my life a lot harder as far as doing some meaningful amount of damage. I'm going to go ahead and mind control you so you don't repair those shields because they irritate me. Let's close the doors. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit him. Boom. Easy. Stupid ion bomb. You took out my sensors again? Let's contact the civilians. Oh, good. They give us a free uh, mantis named Rebecca. Who's really good with engines? Okay, you know, I've actually need somebody who's really good with engines. Let's move the rock down to the doors, and Rebecca can work the engines instead. So that's going to increase my evasion chance a little bit. And we have somebody who can operate the doors, which helps against uh, boarding parties. I like this arrangement. I think it's pretty good. I'd like to pull some power off of the mind control real quick, if you don't mind. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get those engines up and running. Perfect. 60 scrap, huh? All right, we're going to go to the sun. Let's see what we can do. We have improved doors. Maybe we can control the fire now. Intruders on board. Okay, well, I mean, we actually already have some oxygen kind of venting out here. 
I'm going to go ahead and vent some oxygen here as well to try and prevent uh, fires from being a serious issue. Let's go ahead and move a mantis over here to deal with the incoming intruders. Uh, the oxygen's already out of this room, so we might as well start suffocating these guys next. They are all running down to this door. I'm going to have you guys actually pull down here, I think. Yeah, you guys have fun with that. We're just going to keep asphyxiating you as much as we can. Now they want to come over here. You guys move on to the next room. I'm going to go ahead and start venting early. Okay, we're buying ourselves a little time. Now he's starting to die. He's going to hit my rock guy pretty soon. Um, probably time to go ahead and close some doors. This guy will still asphyxiate no problem, but now we need to get some guys to go and fight in the door room. Which is one advantage of having a mantis, I suppose, as well as a rock with extra HP, so that should be fine. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, no. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and drain out the fire once again. Actually, wait. No, we don't need to worry about that. I've got a freaking rock. Let's send the rock up here. It's an empty room. It's not going to do any damage to me anyway, right? Pretty sure. Let's have you heal. You heal. Turn on the med bay. And Oni will need to heal up as well. Is Oni also a female? Is Oni a female name? I kind of want it to be because then I actually do have an all-female crew, which is just kind of fun. Not that it matters or anything. It's just, it would be fun. Oh, you get what I'm saying. All right, we got another solar flare on the way. I think we're going to be fine. Um, I say that and then look, freaking, all right. I really do hate solar flares. They're super irritating. So Elizabeth's going to take a little damage, but fine, whatever. Get over here. Pilot me out of here. Now let's go and fight another ship. And we can hail a Mantis, because now we actually have a Mantis crew member. Okay, wait a minute. This is the legendary thief, Kazak Plefkilik. My crew are frightened. I've seen this before, and if you have a Mantis, they do like a weird trance thing, right? But we have to fight. Let me look this up real quick, because this actually might lead to some sort of a quest. Okay, it is a special event, and it can lead to unlocking the Mantis cruiser, but we do not have the things that we need to actually win this. We would need to be able to kill the entire enemy crew without destroying the ship, so boarding parties. We would need either level 3 sensors or a teleporter, which I have, I get, I don't know if this counts as 3 sensors, it might. And then we'd have to have a level 2 med bay or a clone bay. Actually, we might be able to run away and then come back. And if we just upgrade the crew, tell uh, the med bay, and then come back, maybe we can do something. I don't know. Um, we're gonna try to survive a little bit here. Let me just go ahead and do some damage and try to knock at his weapon so I don't get hurt. Um, yeah, we might jump away and try coming back if we can find a way to make this work. Killing his entire crew without killing his ship. Man, this is where I wish I had like a fire bomb or something. I need to set some fires on the ship and then use the mind control effectively. That's what I need to do. Okay, there's like a fire, for example. Yeah, if only, if only I had a level 2 med bay already. We might be able to pull this off. Might. It's a big might. Um, let's go ahead and just keep taking out his weapon system because I don't want to have to worry about him. See, there goes another fire. We actually have a pretty decent chance of setting fires. I mean, can we do it? I would really love to upgrade, uh, unlock the Mantis Cruiser. Of course, this is now... We're freaking at the exit. I don't think I can do it. We can't jump and then get back here without the Rebels catching me. There's no way to actually make this work. Boo! Alright. Take out his oxygen system. I'm going to have you guys go and fight. Um, we actually might be able to kill his crew, I suppose. Let's see how far along the quest we can get. Uh, I mean, his oxygen's down, and his crew members are dying. He doesn't have a crew teleporter anymore. He's not going anywhere, I don't think. Let's get over here and try to repair the mind control real quick. Maybe we can use it to get somebody killed. Or something. Take out your crew teleporter here. Have them go fight each other. No, don't destroy his shields. If you destroy his subsystem and he takes damage, he might just blow up. Can I... It's not quite what I had in mind, guys. The fire is certainly spreading, isn't it? Oh, good. My oxygen's low, too. Right. We probably should repair that. And, of course, because he has no oxygen, 
the fires are getting put out, so that's not working to my advantage. But if he's not going to repair his oxygen, then he might actually suffocate. Man, I wish I had a boarding party. We could have totally done this if we had gotten here a little bit sooner. And I was able to upgrade my med bay. Well, we might be able to get some sort of event nonetheless. Just by killing his crew, even if we don't get the Mantis Cruiser fully unlocked. We might still be able to get some sort of goodness. I'm going to have you guys go and uh, heal up real quick. Come on, suffocate guys. There we go. Okay, his crew's going to die. There we go. Move in to strip the ship. It seems almost a waste that such a fierce foe to die in such an anticlimactic fashion. You shrug it off and take what you can. Oh, crap! I didn't have a guy down here working in sensors to get up to level 3, so we weren't able to actually do anything continuing with the quest. Oh, well. You live and you learn. Regardless, the crew died. We get some extra, crew, uh, some extra scrap out of that event. One of these days, I will do that. The Mantis Cruiser is a pretty awesome ship. Uh, let's examine the station. There are intruders on board. Of course there are. All right, rocks and stuff. Get down here to the shield room. Uh, he's hacking me. Let's uh, cloak. And I'm going to go ahead and do a mind control on your shields. We're going to see if we can destroy his shields or something. Possibly take it down by a bar. I don't know. He's not going to be able to beat me here. Um, use that. Let's do the beams. Let's make sure he can't do any more hacking, if at all possible, on my engines. Because I like to be able to evade things. Burn with fire. Beautiful. Of course, uh, rocks are immune to fire, so it's kind of got limited usage. But even so, it looks cool. Okay, he wants to surrender. No, not for 15 scrap. I don't think so. Okay, I was trying to kill his crew members, but that didn't work out. Eh, whatever. Pew, pew. Not bad. Not bad. 30 scrap. whoop the frickin' do. That's not bad. All right, med bays. Need to get everybody healed up. You're fine. Elizabeth, sorry, Lizzie, why don't you get over here? Uh, Beth, you were good with uh, shields, I guess. And Ariel with the weapons, you get up over here. Elizabeth, head back to the piloting system, and everyone should be back up to full strength. Perfect. Turn off that med bay. Turn off the mind control. All right. Alrighty. Feel pretty good. Next sector, NG Homeworlds. Sure, why not? NG Homeworlds are fine. NG are usually pretty nice. Maybe we can get ourselves some uh, repair robots or something. Or drone control, I don't know. Possible ship detected? Fine, let's go say hello to the locals. Uh, let's see. 21 scrap just for st just stripping it apart. You don't have any shields, which means we actually should be able to win this. Oh, no, we were able to actually pull... Oh, well... Probably would have been better to go ahead and just scrap it, but we get some fuel, I suppose. At a stress beacon, there is a couple of stores here. I do want to save some scrap to try and get a better weapon, because if we go in on into Sector 5 without having a better weapon, we are certainly going to lose. Improved cloaking, disable the system, 26 more scrap for me. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's go over this way. For real, though, I, I really need some better weapons. Respond and move in to assist. There is a Manta ship a small, assaulting a small NG space station. Maybe they will be grateful. We're going to go ahead and do a quick cloak. We're going to go ahead and turn on the mind control. We'll use that to our advantage in just a moment. Give our weapons a quick chance to charge up. Done. Okay, let's see. He's got some big guns. Big, big missile systems. Don't like. So we're going to use our mini beam. Try to take out his crew teleporter as well as those weapons, if at all possible. He's trying to repair it. Probably can. Gotta wait for a minute. Love to not take damage from, what is it, a breach missile? Might be a breach missile. Okay, we got his shields down. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna try to take out your piloting so you don't have as much evasion chance real quick. And also do a bit more damage to the uh, weapon system, like so. Which worked out just fine. Go ahead and dodge. Can I take out your shields at all? See, we can fire with the cloak up and running. Okay. Definitely works. Definitely does work. Shield's not completely down, but he's got another fire to deal with, which means he's not repairing his sh uh, weapons. So that buys me a little bit of time to work with. Pew, pew. And burn. Nice. No damage taken out of that. 36 scrap. Contact the NG. Uh, gratitude. Express probability of defeat without assistance. 86.2%. Request suitable reward. Fuel, a weapon, or a drone? I could really use a weapon. A whole smasher laser. Actually? 
pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the power bars we need for all of that. What should we work on next? Um, probably more power bars so I can get some extra evasion chance and we can have the weapon. Yes. Okay. All of a sudden, I feel like we're in a much better spot. This fires off two shots. This fires off two shots, which means in theory we can punch through four shield bars in order to make room for our mini beam. So this actually puts me in a really good spot all of a sudden. Repairs would also have been nice. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded that. Uh, let's start heading this direction again. We're going to still try to visit a store and see if there's anything we can buy. Uh, alternatively, maybe we can... I don't know. Maybe we can buy... Um, we can just get some uh, hull repairs. I do not need missiles in our current state, so let's give these guys 15 missiles. They upgrade... Oh my gosh, thank you. 15 hull points repaired, and we upgrade a reactor by one. That was super duper worth it. Yes! Yes! Okay, everything's coming up Provis all of a sudden. Uh, let's see, the exit's down this way. Let's go this way. We'll work our way down in the stress beacon later. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty... Look at that, thank you for the freebies! More NG science stations. We get some fuel and we get some more scrap. Love it! Everything's... This is the, this is the bestest sector I've ever been in! I'm so happy! Alright, let's see. What appear to be a single damaged ship is in fact two ships that have smashed into each other. There's a flurry of comm signals and damage. It's hard to determine what occurred. The vessels appear to be NG. They are locked together by impact and can't free themselves. We can pry them apart, but they sometimes take that to be hostile, but we're going to try it. They did take it to be hostile. Boo. Okay, let's go ahead and cloak. Uh, you've got a lot of defensive drones. Eesh. Okay. That's going to make my life a little difficult. Um, but I do have a lot of weapons we can use. All three of which basically have a chance to charge up. Let's try taking down his shields. Uh, none of that got through. Wow, okay. Let's try having this guy destroy his shields. The mini beam got no love out of that arrangement. Absolutely nothing. You have a lot of weird weapons here. You got your ion, two ion stunners, and a, some sort of a heavy laser, I think it is. All right, pew pew. Got it. All right, now we can burn through, right? Let's take out his drone control. There we go. Ah, we didn't get the drone control, but there is a fire, so... I mean, it's gotta be pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and cloak. Just because I don't like him charging up his weapons. He does repair things quickly, of course. Ah, I wasn't quite able to overwhelm his uh, drones. I don't know if he can actually, like, do any meaningful amount of damage to me. I think he mostly is just annoying. Come on, get something through. Got it through. Perfect. All right. Hit his drones. Ah! All right, don't repair your shields, please. You got fire in the cloaking room. Vent it out. We lost cloaking capabilities. Ah, I need to take out those stupid drones, man. Those drones are actually a problem. Take out the oxygen and the drones. Okay, drones. He's got one less thing able to cause problems for me. So that's good. Uh, whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Beth, I just realized you were in uh, a really bad spot. We should not have left you there. Haha, <laughs> negligence. It's hilarious. Got it. Okay. Um, hit the drones. Ah! He keeps charging just in time. Just barely in time. We're going to go ahead and mind control you. Let them kill each other. You need to fire both of you off at once. Got it. Beams, drones, hit him. Thank you. All I was trying to do was help. The NG ship hails frantically and tries to explain the situation. Apparently you interrupted the equivalent of a consolidation of two ships that were using each other's parts to construct a new vessel. The NG were not truly hostile. The targeting computers had not finished adjusting. There's nothing to be done about it now. You leave the remains of the surviving ship and we get nothing out of that arrangement. Is that how that always works out? Is it always bad? Or is it only sometimes bad? I don't really remember. Um, well, whatever. Nothing to be done about it right now. Let's have you guys go and heal up. Let's get our cloaking back up and a running. I guess it was a good test of our uh, ability to punch through shields. Gives you a good idea just how unfortunate two defensive drones are. Like, they're really freaking annoying if they can shoot down your lasers like that. I understand shooting down missiles and stuff. But shooting down a beam of light, that takes some freaking skill, yo. All right, do we want to go to the store? Yes, I want to go to the store. I got 100 scrap. It's probably fine. Too bad we didn't actually get to salvage that shit we destroyed. Your script, ours, our weapons for you. 
Uh, let's see. We could buy a crew member. Drone control. Yeah. Hacking. Yeah. Both pretty good. Um, heavy laser is nice, but probably not good enough. Healing burst, no. Fire beam, probably not that either. So I think I should buy a new system. Drone control comes with the defense drone, which is certainly nice. Hacking can be fantastic. I think I'm gonna buy... Ah, oh, but they're both really good. We do still have the shield overcharger. I did say I wanted this, didn't I? And it comes with the free defense drone, Mark 1, which is good for shooting down missiles. But to be honest, I don't know. I think I kind of want the hacking. I do, I do feel like I want the hacking. It's just that a shield overcharger and a defensive drone greatly increase my survivability, but this lets me take down their shields so I can actually do serious subsystem damage. We're going to buy the hacking. This is my final slot. Oh, no. Uh, are we sure about this? Yes. And if that's the case, then we're going to go ahead and sell the shield overcharger because I'm not going to be able to use it. Um, I don't necessarily need to he uh, heal. We might get some random events. I am going to buy a little bit more fuel. And I think we're just going to ignore the rest. Tom Banks. That's hilarious. All right. All right, all right, all right. I think that's fine. Uh, we can make a few more jumps before we get to the exit. Hacking is good, okay? I'm not going to be sad about hacking. Let's move into Assist Against the Mantis. In fact, let's go ahead and turn on the hacking now. And I'm just going to take out your shield systems, like so, using my drone parts. Suck on that. Wait, why did I do that? Why did I, why did I do that, actually? Because now it's not going to time with my actual weapon. That was dumb. I got excited. I wanted to show off, and that was stupid. Whatever. Okay, mini beam. Uh, take out his weapons and stuff and his piloting. Frickin' shields turn on just in time. Apparently he's locked. Oh, I forgot. Hacking drones lock you out of the room. <laughs> That's fun. Alright. Pew, 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 pew. No weapons. No nothing. Burn. Yeah, he's got nothing. I mean, this, this ship wasn't exactly a threat. I just should have played that a tiny bit smarter and not wasted the drone part to prove a point. But whatever, we got it back. Two fuel, 27, more scrap, contact the NG. They give me three more fuel. I mean, hey, cool. I'll take it. Uh, we can go this way before going back to the distress beacon. Could even pop back into the store if we want to hire another crew member. As soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from the nearby civilian NG vessel. Their captain appears to you on the screen. Strange bug, can you assist in debugging? I don't do programming. We'll listen. Okay, found malfunctioning mantis, believe is it is human, will receive input only from human, danger evaluation, extremely high, provide assistance. I'm going to use mind control to calm him down, because I don't want to risk my crew members. Because there's a good chance that he is going to try to kill somebody. Uh, the mantis calms down and communicates thanks to the NG and yourself for helping. He requests to be dropped off at a nearby planet at the human colony where he was raised. They are grateful for his return and offer a reward. Three fuel, 38 more scrap. Okay, hey! I didn't even know that that event existed for the mind control, but I'm very happy with how that turned out. See, this is why you have these things sometimes. Diversifying your systems, dang it. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is putting off a distress signal. Let's search, and we take some damage because, of course, we do. <sighs> All right, we're going right back down to half health by the end of this video, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, we get a flat gun. Yes. Okay, flat guns, uh, obviously great. This requires two power. I could gladly replace the dual lasers with this thing. How long does it take to recharge? It only takes 10 seconds to charge. All right, a little harder to control maybe, but I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and buy this out. Um, I, ooh, what do I want? Better hacking, mind control. Maybe I want to go for better shields. I think we're going to save up for some better shields, but let's go ahead and get that extra power bar on the weapon system and then swap the dual lasers out for flak. So now I have a whole laser, and I have... I guess I could have done flak instead of whole laser, couldn't I? Eh, but this has the potential of doing extra damage to systemless rooms, but these guys charge faster. Maybe this is actually better. Still fires off the same number of shots. Whole laser can possibly do more damage. I think we'll leave it with this setup for now, but at some point we're going to have to sell something. I'll need to figure out what I want to do. In the meantime, though, let's start saving up for our third bar of shields. 
Um, this is promising to actually be a pretty legit ship. I do want to get a better weapon than even all of this. Maybe getting like a glaive beam or something would be awesome. Like for real, it would be awesome. But uh, there's not much I can do about that. that. That just requires a lot of luck. In the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.